Hi everybody, today we are taking a look at the five most important cron jobs to run Modic on your own server. So if you are ready for taking your marketing automation system to the next level and to actually use it, you need this. So the first cron job you need to put on your server is Modic Segments Update. So Mautic Segments Update puts all the contacts into the segments where they should be, depending on the filters of the segments. I would suggest for the beginning, run it every five minutes, which you would write like this. And then you need to put PHP, then the path to your Mautic on your server, then bin slash console, and then the actual cron job. How you put in the cron job, <laughs> I will show you in a minute. Number two would be Mautic Campaigns Rebuild. So if you are building a campaign and then you go live with the campaign, then the campaign is built actually and it's going to be triggered from there. So if you're changing something in your campaign, you want to rebuild the campaign and therefore you need this cron job. You need to run this from time to time. In the beginning, where you're playing around with your campaigns, you probably need to run it more often. I have it here at two o'clock in the morning, so it only runs once a day. So if you are developing a campaign and it's live and you're using it, maybe you want to have to rebuild every minute. Then you need the Mautic campaigns trigger. The campaigns trigger is actually the most important cron job if you want to trigger something and that the campaign moves forward, you need to trigger it every minute or something like this. So I like to trigger my campaigns every minute, then it just runs through all the tasks and executes them. Then you want to have Mautic broadcasts send, which means if you're planning a newsletter or if you're planning a campaign to go live, you want to have the Mautic broadcast send cron job. This triggers the sending of your emails or whatever. So if you're sending your emails in Mautic instantly, the broadcast send cron job does that for you. It's recommended in Mautic to queue your emails and then send them out. So then you need two cron jobs. So you need the broadcast send cron job first to put it into the queue. And then you would need the emails send cron job, which would be this one to actually send the emails from the queue. Now we're going to take a look on how to implement that. So in Mautic, you cannot yet implement cron jobs. First things first, you need to define when your cron jobs are running. Therefore, you can use this great tool. It's called cron tab guru, and you would find this page and therefore you can define when your cron job should be fired. So if you are putting in, for example, this one, it would say at every minute. So then you know, okay, these five stars mean every minute my cron job gets executed. You can do something like this, then you know at every fifth minute or this one, every seventh minute at three o'clock and one minute. So you can play around with that. And this is what we're doing here. This first cron job, I want to trigger this every five minutes. So I would put in this. The second cron job, I would put at minute zero at two o'clock in the morning. That's the hour. All the others are fine for me to run every minute. It depends on your server and how strong your server is and how many contacts you have and how big your segments are and so on and so forth, how often your cron jobs should run. You can even say, okay, I want to have campaigns rebuilt for campaign I, this would be the campaign ID number two, let's say, then this cron job would run only for the campaign number two at two o'clock in the morning. If there is no flags at the end, it runs for all campaigns. Okay, let's do it like this. And let's put this into our server. To connect with the server, you would use the terminal. So you can go to the spotlight search, which on Mac is command and space and put in terminal app and then the terminal app shows. Connect to your server as shown in the install video. You find the install, how to install Mautic 4 
video here. So check this out first. If you have installed Mautic on a shared hosting, on a hosting panel, then you would go to your hosting panel and find your cron jobs and then add a new cron job, define the page where you want to have the cron job for and then put in all this stuff here and write your cron job with the path to Mautic and the actual cron job you want to put in. And if you are on a server, which I actually recommend for your own hosting environment, you would go to your server and log in as not the root user. I'm here root, but for this tutorial, I don't care. But log in as your user, which has the rights to use Mautic and then write cron tab minus E. And this opens up the editor. In my case, I use Nano because I like the Nano editor. If you never used an editor on your VPS before, it would probably ask you which editor you want to use for CronTab. So type in the number. You can use Vim for this as well, but I'm going with Nano. Here are these commented lines. You can delete them or put your own comments into it. I'm going to delete these lines. You can put your own comments there. Comments don't get executed. So let's put in these cron jobs. I just copy them. Make sure to change your path to Mautic. You need to change this for every line, of course. And if you see, okay, some cron jobs are slowing down my Mautic, you can just out comment them and change or play around with the setup. Then save it, which would be control and O. Control and O. <laughs> yes, I want to save it there and exit. And then your cron jobs are running. So this is the magic how to create cron jobs in Mautic. It's actually super easy. Check out the next video to see how to build your first marketing automation system and make money without doing anything. See you there.